What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Berg Step Reviews channel. My name is Andrew and today Copenhagen Original Pouches. Before we go any further, the presentation. All right, very nice design. Um, it's like a bronze, I want to call it. Background, you know, all the usual Copenhagen stuff on it. Uh, Freshcope.com weighs 0.82 ounces. The date is November 22nd, 2015. A little bit past, but I think that's what the day I bought it, actually. Of course, cardboard bottom. Um, so, yeah, open up the can. You can see the imprint on the back. Uh, we got two pouches left. Uh, the scent on it, it's very uh, Cope Snuff smelling. Uh, it really, it really smells just exactly like Cope Snuff to me. Um, so yeah, cheers. We'll put these up top. Now I notice about these, they, they're pretty full. It seems. Um, I have another dip in pouches, and I'm not going to say just what that is yet because it's pretty rare, and I want to make it a surprise. But um, those pouches are, are definitely noticeably less tobacco per pouch. But these you get a, a fair amount. So that's it for that tin. Um, so I forgot to check when these came out. But uh, I believe they've been out for a while. Um, the uh, Obviously the date not being as good as it could be they are a little dry uh, if you you know be patient with them and they will juice up over time um, now as far as I my uh, experience with this I've only had one can before and then I just finished this one now um, so I haven't had it a whole lot it, it you know it, it's out there but it's obviously uh, a lot of Copenhagen dippers I find don't even realize they make pouches at all. Of course they make these and they make wintergreen pouches. And uh, yeah, so the uh, the price on it, I paid $3.89. Uh, if I shopped around, I probably could have got it cheaper, but it is what it is. Um, and it's probably more where you are. It's going to be the same price as Cope Snuff, Cope, uh, Copenhagen Long Cut Original and Copenhagen Black it's gonna be at that price um, availability you know it may not be quite as uh, available as Cope LC and Cope Snuff but it's it's out there it's at most places that carry a decent selection okay I'm thinking you know sheets one example I've always seen it there uh, different big stores like that are gonna have it um, probably tobacco shops if you're really having a hard time finding it which I don't think you would um, obviously the pouch uh, a good quality pouch uh, nothing to complain about there um, now nicotine actually surprisingly I feel a little bit of nicotine from this not at the moment but when I've had this throughout the last week you know a few days or so um, I was kind of surprised that you do get a little bit of a buzz off of it. Um, from what I understand, it is Cope Snuff in the pouch, so that could be the reason there. Obviously, it's not uh, a major buzz, but it's still enough to know that it's there. Um, burn, it doesn't really burn. Um, like, I have them up top, so it it'll I can feel it a little bit. But it's not really uh, abrasive or anything, you know, not, certainly not going to burn if you use them on the bottom. Um, for whatever reason, I just like putting pouches up top. Um, so the taste, I really get a watered down, I guess is the right way to say it, watered down Cope Snuff. Um, it, I really don't taste Cope LC, I think Cope LC tastes more earthy. Cope Snuff tastes more, I don't know, Cope Snuff, you know, Cope Snuff has its own 
unique flavor, I think. And I, that's really what I get. Um, not quite as strong as Cope Snuff, but these, they're pretty flavorful for pouches and especially for expired pouches. Not that they're that expired, but you know, you get what I'm saying. Lastability, okay. Um, it lasts a decent while. I mean, I could, I had them in last night. I was just, you know, watching YouTube different things and I think an hour went by until I uh, took them out. Um, so in that sense, obviously the flavor kind of faded, but I think in that sense, um, it lasts a little bit longer than Cope Snuff because Cope Snuff, you know, as you spit, you're losing a little bit of the dip every time I find. So that has the tendency to wear out pretty quick. Whereas this will stick around a little bit longer, won't be quite as strong, but still has a very nice taste. Um, yeah, I'm, you know, kind of surprised that, uh, I went this long without trying them again. It was quite a long time ago that I had them. Probably didn't like them then because, you know, that kind of taste isn't really a, a beginner dip. Kind of have to graduate to the, any of the Copenhagen Naturals really. Uh, maybe not extra long cut, but definitely Cope LC, Cope Snuff, and I'll throw this in there too. It's kind of a acquired taste. Not everybody likes it, but I have to say I really do enjoy these, um, and the aftertaste is just kind of a, a pleasant uh, natural, if you like naturals, that is. Um, so, some shout outs. Uh, Sam D video, full review, the Georgia Dipper, Yee Yee Dipper, Bandit, Peach Pride Dippers, Stoker's Dipper, Cope Dips 23, Outcast of Redemption 1, he made a new channel. Um, and also, a um, buddy of mine from uh, one of my classes, he has a channel that's called GE Crew, different skateboarding type things, and he has an Instagram too, so check him out. Um, I think we're at 144 subscribers, something like that. Thanks, everybody. Uh, it keeps going up. Glad to see that everybody's enjoying. Um, rating of this out of 10, I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. Okay. Um, they're, they're very good, you know, like I've been saying. Um, they're uh, less messy than Cope Snuff, more convenient than Cope Snuff without uh, sacrificing too much of the flavor of it. Um, I mean, people will say, oh, you know, you're, you're, you know, you're a beginner if you don't like Cope Snuff and different things like that. Well, I think it's fair to say there's reasons you wouldn't want to dip Cope Snuff in every situation. Let's say you got a, you're putting a dip in a Cope Snuff and then you got a, uh, a meeting or, or you got to meet somebody later and you don't want little pieces of fine cut in all your teeth but you really like the flavor, then I would suggest uh, trying some of these pouches. Um, would I buy it again? Yeah, actually, I probably would. Um, I often say that I won't try things again, or I won't buy things again, because there's so much more to try that I haven't tried. There's so much more to review that I have had in the past, that kind of thing. And lately, I've just been dipping what I review. I don't really have a regular dip. But these I probably would buy again at some point. So if you like this video, like it, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Keep dipping and spitting. And see you later.